at least the best game ever. Shinmu is like at least the best game ever for me. For a nerd like me, that fucking game is was ahead of its time. Like 15 years ago it came out. But that world was just as just as or more immersive than GTA Online. It, it's nothing to I mean you can't even compare it to that game. It's not the games are nothing like each other, obviously. Just um what I'm saying is the world is huge and there's so much stuff you can do in it and it's really epic. It's about a, a story of a, a boy who loses his father and you have to like avenge your father and it's set the settings in Japan and, um, and then you end up traveling to China in the second one and just the music and the gameplay is really deep and like don't take it at face value though because if you look at the game just the graphics you might not be impressed but the gameplay is where that game shines and the music and everything you you can't really get the just of it unless you played it like you know it's just one of those games you can only appreciate if you pl get if you spent hours playing it and then you just fall in love with it Fucking love this game. Oh man, it brings back so many memories. Starting in a few minutes here. I mean, is am I the only one who knows Shinmu? Like, that is the best game ever. Like, Sega. Big ups to Sega, man. And I'm so happy they're making a third one after like 15 years of waiting. My childhood dreams have are coming true. Alright guys, welcome to Nylon's World, it is game time, excellent, thank you for waiting in the chat if you're here. Today I'm going to continue on day 15 of Dark Souls 2 Adventure. Uh, hopefully kill the smeltering boss today, and uh, yeah. Hopefully kill the smeltering boss, and break in my epic katana as well. Yo, Kappa, how you doing, buddy? Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Kappa. Happy birthday to you. That was so terrible, I know. Because I, I can't sing happy birthday with that music going on at the same time. 
I think I'll have to sing it to you again later when when the music's not playing. <laughs> How you doing, Kappa man? The Danish gamer is Kappa, aka Kappa. Game time! Excellent, thank you for tuning in. My, why is my camera all fucked up? It's blurry. <laughs> you can't see me. I think I need to clean the, the lens here. Hold on, guys. Something's going on. Is that better? That's much better. Okay. Heist later. Yep, that's the plan. We're gonna do the heist a little a little later. I hope to do that. The heisty heist a little later. Cash money. Can you hear me? Why is it so blurry in my camera? There it goes. Much better. Can you hear me, buddy? <laughs> yep. Definitely gonna do it later. Let's see here. Got to get my death counter going. So I need to add 13 to that. Total death. 13, that would be 3, 20, 30. Exactly 130. Nice. And then put this down to zero for the daily death count. Yes. And I think motto needs to become 100%. There we go. We can see him a lot better now. Very cool. Yes. Would you like to Skype call? Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. All right, I'm gonna pause the epic music for now and uh, give you guys the Skype call. Okay, but my rule is, guys, if you're on the Skype call, you gotta still interact in the chat room. You still gotta. Don't, don't ignore the chat. If new people come in, don't be shy. Say hello. You know, still have the page open uh, if you can. I know Kappa, it's hard for him to have it open because he looks on his tablet. But if you can, have the Twitch page open at the same time you're on Skype. That's my new rule because I don't want the people on Skype to be separated from the people on chat. Because if there's a lot of people on Skype and they're not interacting with the chat, then... It kind of separates things, and I don't, you know, I don't want, I want everyone to be together, enjoying the experience together, you know what I mean, so, yes. Hey, Dylan, how you doing, brother? Welcome back, buddy, how you doing? I gotta give these guys a call on Skype, oh, shoot, and also I need to tweet this situation, that's, I need to tweet... Do the tweetage, guys. Do the tweetage. Do 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 do. I need to tweet. My status. Pokemon Go is a bad game. Um, I'm not too sure yet. Like whether it's bad or not. Um, it seemed all right. But you can't really use it well in in Korea yet. I'm not too sure about it. To be honest, guys, I'm not a big cell phone game player. I don't really like cell phone games. Because you have to pay for shit too much. And, uh... 
and they're not deep. None of, no cell phone game is, is deep. They're all kind of, well, that's way too dark. Um, I just trying to adjust the brighting on my, the brightness on my cam here. That looks about, that looks good. So yeah, um, exactly, kind of rip off, right? You got to like pay so much stuff. You got to pay for so much stuff, right, to enjoy the game. But I'm not quite sure, I don't know. I'm not that impressed right now because I've only tried it out once, and they and the map doesn't work in Korea yet. Um, but I don't like I don't like cell phone games usually because they you for one you there's micro transactions you got to pay every time you turn around if you want to get any progress in the game. Plus, uh, two, they're not they have no depth at all. They're like for people who want to play games for five minutes and then and then continue their life you know it's like but for me I'm not that kind of person you know I like spending hours on a game and then being like it, it's like becomes a part of my life you know like I like being in games that are deep deep stories and all that kind of stuff that's why I'm not really a big cell phone game player but they do help out when you're bored in the subway but that's pretty much what they are for me you know Pokemon Go came to DK before it came to US and China, that's what I heard. Yeah. Interesting. Cause who developed that game? I think it's not I think it's a European company, didn't they? Live hold on guys. Live now. Live now. Um Day 15. Sorry, I'm tweeting this right now. Day 15. Smelter Boss. That's what, that's who what I'm fighting, the spider, Smelter Demon Boss. Uh, there we go. It's so hot in my fucking room right now. Dark Souls 2. There we go. Bum ba da 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 da. Have you seen the N E seven demo. Nope. Game talk and Souls two. You know what guys? I think I'm gonna spend like ten or fifteen minutes just doing game talk. Because there's a few things I want to talk to you guys about, and a few videos I'd like to show about gaming. So, temporarily I'm going to change the title to Game Talk Show, and then for like for like 10 or 15 minutes, I'd like to talk about some games, and, see, and then hear your guys' opinion of what you think about them and all that stuff. And then we'll continue with Dark Souls, and then later on with the heist of G in GTA. So... Live now, game talk, and day fifteen, Smelter Boss, Dark Souls two, Twitch. TV. Sorry guys, I am almost done with this tweet. I forgot to do this. It is happening, marvelous. Twitch. Give me one second, guys. Almost done here. Almost done, guys. Almost done. Tweeting, tweeting, tweeting. The status is updated. Live now. Game talk. Day 15. Spelder Balls. Dark Souls 2. Yes. Come chat. Come and chat. All right. Cool. I mean, I don't know. I don't think anyone really looks at my tweets, really. But you got a tweet because someone there. Yep, there might be a chance someone would look at it, you know. And, uh... And I'll put some tags in there for some games we're going to talk about. 
Yep. Okay. Tweeting it. There we go. Good. 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 Tweetage. We tweeted it. There we go. All right, guys. Uh, I will. I will Skype you in a second. But I need to change actually the title here real quick. So game new game talk and. Okay, so we're going to do it, call it New Game Talk, Game Talk Show, and then we're going to play some Dark Souls after this. Game Talk talk show talk how gaming what is it gaming talk show there we go update update all right so if anyone looks at the the uh, you know the gaming page and finds us they'll know I'm streaming about talking about games so uh, first before I get into the stream and there's a few games I want to show today and then talk about them with you guys um, give me one second I'm gonna Skype Rocky and uh, here we go and then I'm gonna add you add you to the call you just had the, some lunch nice lunch is good so hot one second guys So for now, I'm gonna um, take off the Elgato gameplay in the background, and we're just gonna have the brick wall, and we're gonna just simply, yeah, there we go. All right. All right, so here we go. Game talk. Game talk. So, anyone's favorite game that they're intrigued about, that they're excited about, that's coming out soon, that they'd like to talk about, or they, or if there's a video of a game you'd like that you're excited about that you want to talk about, you're welcome to request that, and I'll show it on stream. We can talk about it a little bit. Um, Um, we can search about that tonight and, uh, see, and see about it, um, cause I, I've recently searched about a few, uh, a few days, not a few days ago, like a week or two ago, so like, I, it might be like, you know, it could be, um, it, it could be out, you know, I, I mean, have, there could be more news and shit, but we will see. Um, PlayStation 4 Slim. According to a Sony Instat Insider, the company plans to unveil uh, PlayStation Neo and PlayStation 4 Slim at Tokyo Game Show on September 15, 2016. So if that's true, you can get like a PlayStation 4 Slim for like 199 Oh, nice. Yeah, quite on right. Awesome. So, uh, okay, if, if, if there's, a, just, if there's anything you want to, want me to show, you can always link it in the chat, and I can uh, show it that as well. So. Sure. There you go, buddy. All right, so let me open this here. So right now, we're looking at... Uh, One second. This is a. Uh, 
Like some tech radar stuff here. Hold on. Some tech radar stuff. All right. All right, so it's saying, let's look at it. Um, so I guess this is a, renew, a new report from Wall Street Journal claims that Sony has one, has, has not one, but two new consoles coming in 2006. Holy shit. Okay. Um, according to Sony Insider, uh, the company plans to unveil both a PlayStation Neo and a new PlayStation 4 Slim at the Tokyo Game Show on September 15, 2006. Oh, shit. That's going to be... It probably is... That's when they're going to... That is my... That is my prediction that they are going to unveil the prices even if they don't do the prices they're going to unveil like when that shit's going to come out we're going to know by that Tokyo Game Show I'm sure because you know why because the VR the Sony VR comes out September and the reason why they made PS 4.5 or PS PlayStation Neo was to better support the VR games which come out in September so that totally makes sense if that's gonna happen if they don't release it at least like within a month away that wouldn't even make sense right exactly. so totally yeah like that is a uh, very very good good news bro Thanks for that. Why is it capturing all this? Oh, I want to capture this. Alright, well. Thank you for that. We can just leave it on Google now. There's definitely, um, let's see. Yeah, that, that's, that was a great article. Thanks, man. Thanks. Let's see. And then why is it showing the dashboard? Hold on, guys. Switch the window to Google. And uh, capture. There we go. So I got to resize this stupid thing again. Um, but yeah. And there's another game that's coming out really soon that I'm really excited about. And that we're going to talk about. All right. So all right let's check out this game this is an epic new game and uh, I'm really excited about but first is it okay to post a link to Wikipedia the game that I want to show sure Resident Evil 7 Biohazard all right let's check that out um sure I will just google that because since I have this page open um, res resident Resident Evil 7. There we are. Biohazard. That's nice. Alright. Give me one second here. All right, and uh, let's see. So, Biohazard Seven, insane. Okay. Um, and Resident Evil Seven Biohazard, known in Japan as Bios, 
Hazard 7. Upcoming survival horror video game developed by Capcom, slated for a uh, a January 24th, 2017 release at Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, with a PS4 version including VR support. Wow, it's going to be VR supported. The uh, Biohazard's Resident Evil 7. That's going to be fucking cool. Imagine like, excuse my language, but imagine zombies in your face with virtual reality, like, bro, you know? Um, yeah, imagine that. Is there any like sort of gameplay, first person's perspective? Players will be able to use weapons to fight back against enemies, although developers say they should not expect a gun fest. Ne Resident Evil's never been a never been a gun fest. It's always been very story driven survival. You you just it's basically you survive on a few weapons and like it's about the mood and the situation that makes Resident Evil right. This you know the story. Am I right? Am I right? Like Rocky, like Resident Evil's never been driven on just like. Just a lot of gun shooting. Well, I don't know about six. I haven't played it, so I, I maybe they tried to switch it up, but uh, to just gun and and they're going back to the original. It sounds like for the seven, original concepts of what made the games great. There's no original horror aspect currently in that game. In seven, or you mean uh, six? It sounds like to me that they're they're gonna make it more uh, make it more in tune with the original like style, you know, less on just gunplay and more on. Here we are. This is a better article probably. PlayStation lifestyle. Um, they only have like this one little picture, but. Hold on to your butts. Resident Evil Gaming Undisrupted King of Survival Horror is coming to VR. Yep, we read that. That's exciting. Um, I don't feel like the first VR is going to be very good. Yeah, I'm not really... I'm not going to jump on that, that train or, or like right away because I don't feel like VR is going to be like blowing my mind, you know, like... And I don't... To be honest... I think VR would be cool, but for me as a streamer, I don't think I you couldn't stream it really. You could, but like you couldn't how could you interact with the chat with something in your face? They'll figure it out. They will. I'm sure they'll have like the have like a have it the chat viewable in your VR headset or something by a click of a button or I don't know. They they'll figure it out. They got to be able to integrate it, because somehow, you know. Or that'd be annoying if you have to pull off your headset every time you're going to check chat. But like, I guess for the most part, people could the the if they did stream VR, they could basically like just chat a lot and um, and just people just watch the experience. I guess. Um, Seven is definitely original horror. Ah, you're talking about in six. That's what I was. That's what I was thinking too, Dylan. That seven, the Resident Evil Seven will be. Uh, will be. Like. You know, much, much better. Yep. Definitely. Definitely. All right. Oh hell yeah! Here's another one that I'm excited about. This No Man's Sky. This is one I want to show, guys. So let's go to IGN.com. I saw this earlier. Or oh, no, we don't have to go to IGN. Uh, no Man's Sky. But there is something else. There is something I want do want to show you guys. Wow, it's right in the top. This is exactly what I want to show. What can you do in No Man's Sky? I'm so excited about this game. Oh my god, it looks so epic, guys. 
Seriously, I'm not joking. All right, so hi everyone. We're just we're starting to count down the launch of No Man's Sky. Um, on August 9th, with just a few short weeks until we get your hands on the game, we wanted to tackle one of the questions that we've seen crop up a few times. What do you do? What do you get to do in No Man's Sky? Well, that's that's always been the question in, in on everyone's mind is like, what the hell do you do in that game? You know, what do you do in that game? You know, stuff like that. And uh, um, and what is it all about? And I'm going to show you guys because I've been excited about this game for like probably over a year now. Um, one second, I'm just checking my stream. I want to make sure it says the right title. It's not that's saying the game talk show. Yeah, okay. Cool, it's staying game talk. Alright, so um so yes, more about this game. Um here it is. As seen Murray from Hello Games has talked about before, there are four key pillars to the game. Explore, trade, fight, survive. So you get to explore a very epic, beautiful world, trade items you find, fight basically any threats you co you come into contact with, you fight them, and you survive. So it's exciting, economical, and really just you know, immersive, it sounds like. So let's watch this video and check it out. Is the first tag of the stream entitled because of my song request? Uh, because we're going to talk about... We're going to talk about a lot of stuff, and... I just thought anime, if I tagged anime, it would... It would... It would be kind of... Uh, a lot of these games that we're talking about are Japanese, so I, like, I kind of wanted... People who are in anime are usually into Japanese games, so that's what I actually and your music, so uh, that's so actually that's why I, I did anime and also, um, you know, instead of putting Japanese games, I just put anime. So pretty basically, I thought people who find this talk show would be kind of the same kind of mindset. If you if if you like anime, you like Japanese video games. It's just like, come on, right? At least that's how I think. Because I love anime and I love Japanese video games. I still feel like $60 for a game is too much. I put No Man's Sky in there as well. And uh, PS4 so for the tags. To make it kind of not just focused on that. But Yeah, I know. The price tag is the only thing for me. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce the Explore video. Let's wa The video one, Explore. The first part of No Man's Sky, they said, you've probably missed this, uh, Rocky. No Man's Sky's four elements, p pillars of this game is explore, trade, fight, survive. So you explore an immersive world, trade items you find. Fight means enemies who try to attack, you can fight back, and you just survive in this big world. So let's check out the first video, Explore. Guides to the Galaxy No Man's Sky Video 1 Explore So what I've been told is that you can simultaneously travel like countless planets with no loading screen just like in real life so let's just watch it.
Looks beautiful. Looks really beautiful. Um, so as you can see, so as you can see, it's quickly showed um, that you can just literally like travel from universe, I mean from planet to planet through the universe simultaneously. You can just fly your jet out of in and out of orbit. There's no loading screens and shit. It feels like really real and huge and it's endless and each planet is different. I know a lot about this game because I've been following it for like a long time. Um, so that was really a quick, very quick introduction to the explore ex ex exploration part. And then, let's see, do they have any other videos in this song? It says video one. Where's the other videos? Is there more? I wonder. Uh, scenes video. There's another video, scenes video. Hey everybody, I'm Anthony Carboni here for PlayStation with Sean Murray. Hey man. From uh, well, this is just a lot of discussion, but I, caught it. Fair I wanna um, just let them play the game the and we can watch it. So a big part of it. Now that I have that. All right, so they're gonna the actually play the game here, and let us. Most people understand, right? Like I can explore around these worlds, but what that means is is really different to any other game, right? If I land on a planet like this one, like no one's ever been here before, like literally no one. So you use landmarks like this point of interest here, right? So this is a. Oh, looks safe. This is a relic. <laughs> Whoa! So what the hell is that? With it. <laughs> um, and this is like a Corvax relic, right? It teaches you an alien word, um, and you can uh, get these little bits of almost like interactive fiction, right? Choose your own adventure. So I happen to know what the right thing to do is here. So I like go to sleep in front of this model, and okay. Uh, and when I wake up, it's daytime, and I've been healed. My health is recharged. Wow, there's like a magical stuff, like that. stuff. That's a big part of the game. Like each planet has its own kind of set of rules, and you're trying to adapt to them. You're learning what does what. Then. Was there something that I could have chosen in front of that monolith that would have done some real nasty stuff to me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> but there's cool. also some. Walk really... up and poke a glowing monolith. Well, okay, okay. Hold on. Let's let's right. pause then... there for that second. If you guys can understand what they're talking about, like holy shit. So like every planet. Is has its own set of rules. It's different, and if the if that if he made the wrong decision, he could have got fucked up by that that big stone. But since he knew what to do, because he made the game, the guy with the controller, um, he got healed. So there's so it's really like seems really cool and realistic and like just such an adventure, you know, right? And um, hopefully show some of the action. That's kind of how I look at it. It's like, you know, are you a, you know, are you a kind of a Kirk or a Picard, right? Right. It's like, yes. You know, do you go around being kind of a, a you know, really respectful of these alien planets that you're going to, or do right. you just That's go the respect gun that he's using right like there, shooting some plutonium <laughs> crystals? So this gun <laughs> collects like minerals and gun. stuff. Yeah, I should be. Yeah, each has a different type of right. gameplay. So, uh, each planet has a like, has a different game, game within a bigger game. Yeah, right. Exactly. like recharge your shield okay recharge your protection that's another big part of the game is survival so you can see we're in like an extremely cold planet yeah well, it looks really cold we're taking, we're taking, taking damage because yeah. we're getting really cold now so i can pop in here into my weapon uh and install some new technology wow I'm installing new technology to his weapon this land disruptor that's that so that. cool uh let's start some Look at that! Look at that dinosaur okay. thing! Holy crap! It's a whole Whoa! Level of respect for the environment, guys. Right, exactly. Look at that! That just destroys uh, the environment. So some caves, right? right? And it's nice and warm down here, so we're out of the cold. Wow! Yeah, now you're out of the so cold cool. in the warm cave. I love this. So I knew that there was a cave down here, but that sure. wasn't just luck, because there are caves actually pretty much everywhere on this planet. They go on for like kilometers if you just go down and kind of start exploring. Once I have a gun like this. Uh, and I've kind of upgraded myself in this way. I can find those. I can find resources that no one else has found before. Um, wow. That looks so much so fun. Just exploring everywhere well and like finding, like finding rare items and like new life forms, right? New so life forms. Like 
Scan Whoa. These guys. Look at those and things. You can, oh. you can name the planets that you've been to. Um, you can name the solar systems that you discover. Name any creatures that you see. Uh, and if you do, then when other people come to those planets, they'll see those same names. They'll see whatever stupid name you think of. I'm just going to name them all after me. Right, I know. I'm just going to everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an Anthony. You can right, even name an an the oh, things you Anthony. find? <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. What planet is this? Planet Anthony. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we'll know. Your, your journey towards the center of the universe is just going to be, you know, the Anthony journey. Basically. My humble journey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the cool thing is, like, that a lot of these planets are already occupied. Not by other players, but by like alien life forms. So, so like this, bases like this are sometimes occupied. Oh wow! So I'm just gonna go wow. save my game. We can go talk to this guy. So that's the real kind of, I don't know. Another important part of sci-fi, I think, is to be able to find new life and be able to try and talk to them. And that. Wow, what's real that's about cool. That is new kind of life forms. Yeah. I wonder what they're and gonna so talk we about. To that, we went to that monolith before, and it right. taught us a word. So this is a word that we had learned previously. Right, so exactly. we already know traveler. Yeah, but we don't really necessarily. Are they gonna talk about things like the same as we do? Like, oh, check out that super hot alien species, or something. I don't know. We know enough to communicate with this guy right now. But I was we gonna say that feels like the them. least important word in right. that sentence, <laughs> probably. But if we choose the right options <laughs> and we're uh, interacting with him in a good and positive way, then not alone will he be happy and he might reward us, our standing with that race will raise, right? Okay. So they consider us oh, better. Wow, you it. can even make yeah, alliances and partners uh, uh, like with, the, with those races and stuff. That's cool. Oh, peaceful planet! <laughs> oh shit, you're just... Oh shit, kill the dinosaurs! thing I asked you about this game was? Uh, I believe you asked if you could carve your name into the planet. It was, can I write my name in the planet and can I poison the water supply? Ah, uh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shoot that guy. Holy crap, look at that, the size of like that thing. You? What is it like to be you? <laughs> I'm new here. I'm new here. Come back. This. How do I scan it? I know. How I do know. I scan it and name I mean, it? How do I you, skin it? You can actually scan a dead creature. I don't cool. think you should be allowed to. So you want right. to... I caught it fair and square. I get to scan you it. Want L2. L2. You want L2. L2. And this, this sentinel is now coming over. And he's like, what's been going on over Nothing, here? Nothing, dude. I don't like, know. I walked yeah, over just, and this guy yeah. just keeled over. <laughs> and I walked Thermal over and some dinosaur protection. CPR on him. And There's I don't nothing. know. And they come up. They seem happy. Do your, do your thing, like, man. <laughs> just yeah. mind your own. I'm a law-abiding like, citizen of the universe. I was trying to resuscitate oh, him. I've got a jetpack on. You didn't say that. Whoa, he's got a jetpack. Wow. There's a reason I didn't tell you. you gotta I go got for now. Jerk. Okay, Dylan. Okay. <laughs> you could have been jetpacking the whole time. <laughs> well, I'm not like the Henry David Thoreau of space. I'm flying around on a jetpack if I've got one. Suddenly I have a feeling like I don't want to release this game. Release the oh, game. Right. <laughs> release it to <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so I scanned uh, that creature, that poor creature that died of an unknown. Uh, what do you want to name him? Yeah, I would love to name this creature <laughs> is what I'm getting at. So, would I go to options, right? Right, go to your discoveries page. Discoveries page. L1 and L1. Yeah. Oh, I discovered all, is. all oh, that that's stuff. what he looked like when he was happy and alive. <laughs> Look at him, bounding around. Probably... Do I have probably to, to do crimes. Do I have to he ask? He probably a crimosaur. <laughs> crimosaur. I would name him Crimosaur, except he didn't get away with it. So right, he okay. gets named. Andrew. Well, you can name, yeah, name the discoveries. Then, That's cool. You know, you know what you're gonna run into though. You're gonna run into that MMO problem though, where it's like, well, if I can't. And name twenty three. Yeah, I right. can't name this Lord Destructor, so I'm gonna be Lord Destructor XXX. Hey, buddy. What are you like a happy little crab guy? What's your life like? Boom! <laughs> I'm mining you. I don't know I'm why. using a mining laser to mine your entrails. You right. <laughs> you can melee. I can melee? Yeah. So that's, uh, you want more one. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, come here, buddy. <laughs> melee? Ah, oh, so, oh, that's cool. It's like Halo a little bit. Knock this dude around. So if you, if you look up when you're doing that? This is, by the way, a C, Anthony. Okay. <laughs> Well, at least, you know, you're getting more and more imaginative. Yeah, well, you got to. 
Right, okay. Hey. Oh, you can make that dinosaur rocket jump. I have captured so I have captured the dinosaur's flag. <laughs> Is that how this game works? Yes. So I wanna oh <laughs> Got after me. Oh shit, they're like, what the fuck you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we saved our game. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> so we're gonna restart back. Uh back to the base. Where we saved our game. Right. Oh now we now we're they're gonna, gonna show flying. Attention. Right. I do remember that. They're gonna okay, show cool. some flying, so that'll cool be fun. Thing is, I've showed you kind of combat, trading, uh like survival, exploring. But all of that happened just on the planet, right? And the cool thing about No Man's Sky is space is just like up above us this whole time. Uh, so let's you go know, out you, space. like it's crazy. It's, it's gonna sound so dumb saying this. Like I know that, and I know that's the point of the game. But there, was, like I had forgotten that as we were walking around on the planet. Like I had literally there was enough stuff. Like there was enough to do that I had totally forgotten that we could just bolt any time we wanted. <laughs> so let's that's let's crazy. Take, let, let's just get out into space. So. Yeah. I'm gonna summon well, yeah, it's a bit longer than I suspected, but ship, it's interesting, though. This game is really interesting. It's quite science -y looking. Yeah. Right. Well, look at that um, ship. It's not that well. But don't worry, I don't have uh, much else to show it's like, it's after this, so don't worry. We're going to start uh, the game soon. So, this, this is the game. You can just hop into your ship, and just like that, I've already flown over that entire area that we played. Wow, look at that. That's so nuts. <laughs> That's so nuts. Uh, Woo! So I can fly like seamlessly out into space, and then you're working with a totally different scale. Yeah. So like, if I just this looks so much fun. Out here, oh my uh, god! You can see some of the moons of that planet, some asteroids hanging out in space, and you can mine those asteroids for resources as well. Um, you can see some of these trade routes. So that's traders going about their business, okay. right? Bringing goods back and forth to the space station going down to the planet and gathering some at outposts. I love that you can see contrails where things are wow, very typically cool. traveled. Wow, Another planet. Guide you. And you can actually make out, and you could from the planet, like below, you could see islands and kind of like continents. And if you were to fly there, you would find that those were there. And that looks like it's got some like water, and so yeah. we'll probably see some Interesting. Like, life down there. So that's not some rough approximation of the type no. of planet. That's Oh, and now we're stood in it. Um, is of the entire area that we were playing in. What? Wow. We're dealing with hundreds of thousands of kilometers. And if I pop out into the map, this is the galaxy. Well, there's many and galaxies. We're with light years. So yeah. this is the star that we're just orbiting around. Um, where day was turning from night and stuff like that, that was done because our planet rotated around its axis and turned around this star. Sure. These are the other stars that we can reach nearby. Right? Wow, there's so planet. many stars. And that over there is the uh, center of the universe. This is the path towards it. Whew. But it's like a really long way away. Wow. And every one of those stars is its own solar system, its own like uh, NPCs wow. and buildings and freighters and ships. You could just keep creatures. going forever. That is so crazy. I wonder if you can actually ever yeah, find the center so of the amazing. universe. I mean, we're getting, I mean, we're getting close now. We're, we're a few months away. Right, that's right. June 21st, right? Yeah, exactly. So, it's a hard game to, like, demo in, you know... It's actually August 9th now, but, um... A few minutes or whatever, but hopefully that gives you some idea. Yeah. Alright, yes, hopefully that gives you guys some idea exactly. There's one more thing I want to show before I get off. Not get off, I mean, get off the, I mean, continue streaming, but I mean, uh, start the game and end the, this. There's one more thing I want to show you. I hope, I hope you're watching, Rocky. Yeah. All right, check this out. Just like three hours ago, I saw this. They're releasing a brand new original Nintendo. Where the hell did that just go? It was on the screen. They're releasing a brand new original Nintendo and they get this like hold on let me find find the article. Where'd it go? It was just right there. It was just right there. Here it is. Oh shit. Shit shit shit. 
new console. There we go. All right, so Nintendo announces a new NES console. Epicness. Oh my effing god. That I mean, that's right. Um, and it comes included with 30 games. 30 games. What's all this? Oh, I don't want to hear you talk about it. I'm talking about it. Alright, um... So, yeah. It comes with 30 games inside it. And it's it looks... It, the casing and everything looks original. The controller looks original. And the controller's only 10 bucks. Guess how much the system is? It's crazy. It's a good deal. It's only 60 bucks for the system. And 30 games inside of it. Classics like Donkey Kong, Metroid, Super Mario Brothers. Like, this is just amazing. It looks so original. Like, they made it exactly like the original. They didn't, they didn't like, edit. They probably made it, obviously, better. But they, they kept the original design, which is, that's beautiful. Oh, man. That, I totally would get by that. I totally want that. <laughs> it's only, that's so cheap. Such a good deal. Such a great deal, 60 bucks. That's just now that's value right there. Cause nowadays games are like 60 bucks for one. Oh shit. It's so Twitch. Rockin'. I don't know how to say uh Thank you for that follow. I don't know how to say your name. Um let's see what 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 was that? Well, welcome to the stream, uh, and I hope you're enjoying Game Talk. Um, but yeah, this just looks epic. It's like a dream come tr childhood dream come true, re-releasing this epic system for such a great price, you know. It comes with 30 games. Zelda's in there, too. It's crazy. Totally awesome, right? I think so. Am I the only one that thinks that's awesome? And, um, yeah, oh, just all the games, look at all the games, this whole list, Pac-Man, Ninja Gaiden, Mega Man 2, Mario Brothers, Kirby's Adventure, Ice Climber, Ghost of Goblins, Galac Galaga, Final Fan F Original Final Fantasy, Dr. Mario, Double Dragon, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong, Castlevania, Balloon Fight, Zelda 2, Legend of Zelda, Tekken Bowl, Super Mario's 1, 2, and 3, Punch-Out, Pac-Man, yeah, like all, basically almost all the epic classics are like coming out with inside this system. That is amazing. Nintendo, you are awesome. That is so cool. Very cool, very cool. It's probably so cheap to make it too. That's probably why it's such a great deal. You know, it's old technology, but they just made it better. Um, Rock, is there any game that you're interested in that you want me to show, or before I switch to Dark Souls? You mean GTA Five? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say GTA Six. There's one last. They're not working on that. Yeah. Right. There's one. There's one last um, thing that I want to show that I am so excited about, and I don't know when this game's gonna come out. Um. But I've been waiting for it for like 15 years, which is Shinmu News 2016. Here we go. Shinmu 3. This is a epic game I've been waiting for for like 15 years. And I read this article today. I'll sum it up in just a, like a minute. Basically it's saying, you know, Shinmu 3 isn't going to be ready for a long while yet. Which is fine. I figure they still got... I, it's one of those games like GTA where 
Rockstar took like six years to make it, but it's an epic game. People still play it, even though it's like old, old, pretty old game now. So I think it's this kind of game. Well, I don't care if it takes three more years to make it. If they just make it amazing, then people will play this game for like ten years. You know, it just still or never will never stop playing it. To be honest, people still play the old ones. Such a great story, and it has those moments in the game where you react to stuff. So something would happen, and then you have to press buttons to like dodge something. They're called like button sequence, time button sequences. That that made the game exciting. And then there was games within a game. There was like Sega games, old Sega games, like Virtual Fighter and stuff inside the game, like an arcade or something. Uh, there's cool stuff like that. Um, and one more thing, and then I'm going to switch the game to Dark Souls. There's a new game coming out called Neo for PS4. It's a PS4 exclusive. Um, this game looks amazing. It's like one of my old favorite games, like Onimusha from PS2 combined it with Dark Souls. It's so similar to Dark Souls. It's it. But at the same time, it's its own game as well. So here's some gameplay footage. Um, looks so similar to Dark Souls, and the upgrade weapon system and stuff is similar. See, this taking a while to start here. This guy looks like the wit, the wit from The Witcher Three, kind of. That's what I always thought. But April sixteen hundred. So you're like basically uh, an, a, a, like a Western-looking samurai. Yeah, I don't really know like the the story yet, but it's it just. Are you watching this, Rocky? No. It's a really interesting game. Looks a lot like Dark Souls. Alright, sorry about this. The stupid commercial. Oh, I hate those. Jumbo. Sorry about the Dude, commercial. Everybody left. There wasn't really anybody here. Um. There was just Dylan. I think might one new guy could have. I just followed, or it could have been, it could have been a, a my Twitch alert updated really late. It could have been that, or could, someone Danish could. Was here. It sounds like Danish wanted to play uh, GTA. Go ahead, I'm watching, buddy. Yeah, I know. I don't expect people to hang out or to come or to stay because I know some people are waiting for certain things. I'm just. I just wanted to talk about these games that I like, and I've never done a game talk show stream yet, so this is my first time, so I thought some people could find this stream and come and talk about games. That's what I hoped, that some, like, one or two new people would come in and join and talk about games, or at least people that are followers, you know, but anyway, I just want to show, like, a minute of this gameplay, and then, then yeah, I'm fine. I'm just enjoying myself, relaxing, you know, I had a long day, so I thought this would be a good way to start this today stream. So he absorbs some energy from that dead body, I guess. So that in that in that aspect, it's like Onimusha absorb, like, you know, absorbing the po those those orbs. This is like a dream come true for me, because I love Dark Souls, but I've all, always loved the game Onimusha from PS2 era. You got all these abilities and stuff. Let's just fast forward to some action. So now he's got armor on and stuff. It's 
Just looks beautiful already. I love the... Look at the little farm. And you got these dead enemies that have, like, spirits. And I heard you could summon the spirit of these dead people and fight them. Similar to, like, Dark Souls, in a way. But different at the same time. Look at that. Oh, oh! The combat looks pretty exciting. What's up? That's a long ass spear. Holy shit. I hope they have a lot of weapons like Dark Souls. Like, like yeah, what's the name of that game? That looks like Dark Souls. It's called Neo. It's like. It's basically like Dark Souls, but more Japanese. And Dark Souls is kind of Japan style mixed with Western. This is like all, all pure Japanese, like style like samurai style which I love so that's I'm so excited about this game to be honest this is like one of the main reasons I'm getting a PS4 when it comes when the new one comes out because this is I don't think this is, I don't think this is on PS PC this is only on PS4 see that's good that's really really good but um tell me yeah. what's up It looks totally like Dark Souls, but at the same time, it's own it's own individual game. Because I'm sure it has its own deep story to it. I just love that they use, like, they take the good things of like Dark Souls, like the, like, you know, elements of Dark Souls, like the upgrade system and the weapons availability and all this like in depth cool stuff that an RPG would supposed to supposed to be an action RPG and then but they make it its own game as well. They kind of take the good aspects of other games and kind of put it into their own. So what are you gonna say? You said you, you sound like you wanted to say something. I'm guessing PlayStation for Slim is gonna be one ninety nine. Yeah, that'd be a good deal. Guys. Imagine us playing GTA 5 on PS4. <laughs> that'd be cool. Well, I don't know if I want to buy that game for PS4. I don't know. But, uh, I honestly am probably going to wait and wait and buy GTA 5 for PC. Um, cause as a streamer, I'm, I need to upgrade my PC actually. I need to buy a PC before I buy a PlayStation 4, to be honest, because even if I buy a PlayStation 4 to stream the games like I do now, would take maybe more power cause the graphics are better and stuff like that. So. I think it's better for me to get a epic gaming PC first and then my streaming capability will increase like tenfold I'll be able to have a better picture um, better camera resolution everything the stream will look epic and then um, but then when I do get a PS4 I'll be ready to stream games like right away in H HD like 1080p and stuff because oh man I can't wait for this game this game. I don't even know when it's coming out yet. They're revamping the some of the gameplay system to make it more to make it better. They did have an alpha demo which this guy is playing right now. But um it's kind of boring menus but so he's doing some upgrading and stuff. Just want to show see if there's any more fighting in it. Well I like his helmet he's got on. It looks totally samurai. Well, it looks spooky too, like Dark Souls. I like it. It's dark and it's rainy and stuff. And you got like. Looks totally cool. Oh man, I, this game was going to be so great. 
I don't know why this. There's a for this when you're streaming this. I guess there's, there's some encoding issues, but. Whoa, that big ass dude came out of nowhere. Look at that. Woo! Nice music as well. Whoa! That's amazing. Look at that. Oh! Oh! That was an epic ability. He had like some wolf like spirit thing power. That was so cool. That reminds me of Okanami a bit. Maybe it's the legend about that that wolf spirit. Wow, that that looks great. So I think that is enough for today of game talk. I just my the thing I wanted to talk about today was No Man's Sky, and we saw a video about that exp exploration. We saw um, about the new Nintendo coming out for sixty bucks with thirty games. You know, um, that that's. I'm so excited about that. That looks epic. Really cool. Shinmu 3. It's gonna not going to be coming out for a while. But this is a game I've been ex waiting for for like 15 years. But it's okay. As long as they have updates on the game development, I'll be fine. Uh, I don't care how long it takes. I just win it. Out. Like, yeah. I'm going to play it as, as soon as it comes out. I'm going to... Yes. That's one game that I would run to the store right away and fucking buy. Because that is uh, going to be epic. And Neo, PS4, uh, NI8, oh, uh, sorry, NIOH. That's the title of this one. Looks like a samurai version of Dark Souls. Epic. Um, definitely want to play that. No Man's Sky is coming out in August. Oh my god. Too bad I don't have a system to be able to play that, but... I'm going to be... Oh, it's going to be so hard not to watch people's streams, I think, playing that game, you know. But uh, this is enough for Game Talk for today, because I have a tight schedule. I got games I want to stream. I got I want to play Dark Souls 2 a bit, and then do a heist with my buddy Kappa and, and Rocky and GTA 5 online later. So if you were watching the Game Talk stream today, thank you for joining in. And um, I'll probably do some of these sometimes in the future. Not all the time. Just like whenever there's some cool news like I found. Like today, I found some really cool gaming news. So that's basically what motivated me to do it today. Um, so once in a while, when there's some cool gaming news to come out, I will probably do a little Game Talk stream like this. And hopefully people will join and enjoy it, you know, stuff like that. So... Alright, I'm going to switch the stream title and switch the game, and I'll be back in like two minutes. So, thank you for watching. You'll probably do an hour of each. I'm not done yet, buddy.